and we're making a clean break so I can start chapters. Now, I've, uh, I very briefly dabbled in this when I set it up. I, like, looked at the intro. I haven't played any further. This is all completely new territory to me. App completely new. And I am very excited. And I forgot to turn on the... Hold on. If, what if you want the compressed time experience? Uh, if you want some time compression... Wait for me to play, uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Alright. Uh, no, I don't need the... I don't need, like, my, my test phase. There's a Story So Far button. Would, would anyone like to see the recap? The Story So Far recap. Would that help anyone? Yes, please? Alright, we're gonna run the Story So Far. Hello, my name is Zoe. I'm in a coma, and this is my story. A year ago, I was living with my dad in Casablanca. I dropped out of uni. I had no idea what to do with my life. Then my friend Reza went missing. Reza's a journalist, and he was investigating a story. Some people were not too happy about that. They tried to kill him. He ran. I went looking for him. Yes, it was a stupid idea, but I had to do something for him, for myself. I follow the breadcrumbs to Watercorp's headquarters in Japan. You probably know Watercorp for their robotic toys, but now they were making a brand new entertainment device, the Dream Machine. I'm sure you've heard of it. It gives users control over their dreams. At least, that's the sales pitch. The Dream Machine was actually designed to steal memories and control people. Reza was close to exposing the All truth right, okay. when he vanished. I'll give you one guess at who wanted him dead. With a ton of help from friends, I finished what Reza had started. I exposed the conspiracy and stopped the dream machine from being released. Well, sort of. Watercorp released it anyway, a few months later, but without the mind-controlling, um, features. And it's a success, of course. Oh, and another thing. Mm, two things. Big things. After being forcibly connected to the beta version of the Dream Machine, long story, don't ask, I was, um, transported to another world. A, uh, a parallel world where, um, magic is real. Yeah, I know. Stay with me. That's where I found out that I'm a dreamer, which is like being a sort of mind wizard. Actual Jedi powers. Yay! I know, I know, but this is all real. At least, I think it's real, and not, not just a dream. Speaking of dreams, remember the coma? So, my body is lying in a hospital in Casablanca, sure, but my mind is trapped in a different place. A place called the story time. If you walk away now, I don't blame you. It's a lot to take in. And I'm not quite done. See, the woman who injected me with the drugs and put me in this coma? Her name's Helena Chang, and she's involved with the Dream Machine Project. Also, she's my mother, who was supposed to be dead, according to my father, who lied to me. Confused? Welcome to my life. My name is Kian Alvane. I was once the apostle. I am now a convicted traitor. Tomorrow morning, I die. One year ago, I left Azadir, my homeland, for Mercuria, capital of the Northlands. I'd been sent to this city to find and assassinate the leader of the insurgents opposing our benevolent military rule. But when I arrived in Mercuria, I saw that people here were not as happy about the occupation as we'd been led to believe. And I learned that magicals were not the cruel and soulless creatures we'd always heard about. My convictions were further put to the test when I realized our leaders in Mercuria were corrupt and faithless, and that they were planning to not only destroy any and all opposition, but eradicate magic altogether. When I finally found the rebel leader, a human woman named April Ryan, 
I could not in good conscience carry out my assignment. There were too many questions. I refused to murder her. And for that, I was arrested and charged with treason. My mission, my faith, my life, they're all built on lies. Tomorrow I die. I'm ready. Uh, I'm actually really glad we watched that. Getting to see Keon sum up the story from his point of view was a thing. So let's get started. I am really eager to roll into this for another hour. Uh, my choices will be... That's fine. Uh, I do not want to connect and share with Facebook. Thank you. So here we go. Uh, let's just see their logo again. There are two worlds. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, Sometimes. but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the Storytime. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams. Well, thanks for the spoilers, whoever you are. Hi, Ragnar. Yeah, April Ryan is just fucking dead. She did not come back unexpectedly. Uh, if she comes back, it'll have to be somewhere in this. Because they were advertising The Longest Journey Home as a Kickstarter bonus. And that would have been the her story. So, maybe she just didn't earn enough Kickstarter bucks and they left her dead. Oops, sorry April. Oh, we're just gonna start on her funeral, I guess, maybe? Yeah, we're just gonna start on her funeral. Well, she's dead now! Nevertheless, I believe that some deus ex machina will bring April back.
I recognize this room. I think I recognize that room. Okay. Yeah, that was Lady Alvani's room. I, I was waiting to see if anybody else agreed. They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. He's my name choking is my... Oh, shoot, yeah. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. You know, I don't care if this game is choking my bobbling. I don't care if this is like so intense that it's fucking with my avatar. This is gorgeous. can move. I have a lot more uh, heft to the controls. I am going to pause um, real quick. Yeah, maybe the visual quality doesn't need to be at maximum resolution. Uh, maybe I can stand to turn that down a little bit. I am just going to dial that back a little bit and see if it uh, helps with my, well, yeah. Okay, you know what, I don't care. I don't fucking care. I'm putting it back where it was. I'm putting it back where it was. Uh, I can't think of anything that would really help. Maybe if I turned off, like, post-processing or something. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, let me just pause for a moment and okay is there anything i can do with this yeah is it making it's making my avatar chuck that's all so i can live without my avatar it's just it's decoration it goes under the chat all right let's see what zoe has to say about things dad gabrielle stops by every day keeps apologizing i wish he wouldn't uh, no lip movement. Sleeping beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. Oof. How's my, uh, how's my vitals? I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. Uh, life support. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. Can I do the, uh... 
Now, I can't do the, like, distance viewing thing, but then again, I don't really have to. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, sort of was. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. We can't interact with Wonkers. I know they ring well. But my hospital room is beginning to look like a memorial. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad they and did. And what is that behind your bed? Oh, that's snow. I can live without my avatar because my mind is in the game. Yes, that's how it works. Uh, so what's this? Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? <laughs> uh, Zoe, you might want to sit down. I've got some news for you about how long you've been here. Well, we can't just walk away. Oh, wait, spirits. Look or use? People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. We can... Yeah, all right. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. Oh, great. She's like, uh... Why won't you... <laughs> uh, Zoe Castillo has become Princess Luna. She's all alone. I know that feeling. You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. It's not helping you. Cool. Um... Hey guys! What's... What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around. Go back. Wake up. I said stop. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. She's trying. Please, help me. Trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. There's no fire and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much. It's messing with your head. Don't leave. You can't leave. So it's, um... Zoe has become the opposite of Maya from Hypnosis. This isn't real. It's a dream. Wake up. Yeah, Zoe is literally a dream time superhero. Help me. Oh, I used to have this dream all the time. Naked, exposed. It's worse than it sounds. Uh, let's just... No one can see me. You'll wake up soon and everything will be fine. But you should stop using the dream machine or the nightmares will continue. Uh, this dream is different. I'm it's worried about the crowd, though. And the dreamer. It's Wait. a child. Oh, great. I'll need to go in and untangle it. Need to go in. Uh, okay. How would I do that exactly? Stop. Don't come any closer. Leave me be. There are too many of you. I can't say... I can't help everyone. Just go... away! Well, I hope you didn't banish them to eternal damnation, but... Oh. oh okay. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. Uh, is this art representational of anything? We got some some issues we gotta work out. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. Ah. Uh. She's scared enough already, poor girl. 
I need to be careful. Yeah, I don't think scaring her is gonna help. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. And the telltale. Home. I can't find my way. Uh, motto. The way back is through consequences. there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Don't worry. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. My choices will have... Technically all choices will have consequences later in the game. Even if it's just, you know, do you want to continue playing the game? Alright. Uh, let's step up and... Alright, what do we got? We got, um, mind, light, time, and observe. Uh, let's go with light. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. How about from her? Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. Okay, um... But well, light is working. My time? Oh, okay, we can stop time. Alright, that's not really helping. Anything over here? No, nothing outside this scene. Uh, can I use your mind? She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. There's she a light go bulb. looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Oh. Yeah, there is a light bulb, actually. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Yeah. Alright, well, if there's a light and it rolled away, it's probably... Oh, it's too dark. I can't see anything under there. Bingo. There we go. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. I think it's best if we, uh... Hmm, alright. There we go. Light could work, but I don't um, think there's any I... torch. Flashlight. Beacon. Right now I'm still working out the, uh, the interface, essentially. Like, can't, do I have to combine this? Do I have... Okay, let's stop time. And now she can go, right? Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. Well, this isn't fucking helping! It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. All right, oh, I got it. Stop time now. And then we focus. There we go. We're good. We're good. I think. No, don't get too close. It will take you. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. 
I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Okay, the interface... What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. The interface is a little confusing, but has it has potential. Like, there's a lot of interesting things you can do with it. Uh, can I sprint or anything? Can I run? No. This is her default speed. I can pull the camera in and out. That's nice. Oh, I can run. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. New character unlock, excuse me? Oh! We have inform like a character encyclopedia. Complete with concept art. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's go through them. Uh, Zoe Ca Oh boy, that's a lot. Uh, Zoe Castillo, raised in London and Casablanca by her father, Gabriel. Studied bioengineering at Cape Town University for two years, dropping out of school and moving back to Casablanca. One year ago, Zoe's ex-boyfriend, Reza Temez, went missing. So he discovered that Reza, a journalist, had been investigating a story about a new entertainment device created by Wadi Kaur. Okay, yeah, these are all, this is stuff that we know. Zoe's been in a coma for over nine months, trapped in a hospital bed, while simultaneously living a parallel existence in a place called the Storytime, a world of dreams. Here, using the powers granted to her as a dreamer, as the dreamer, Zoe's capable of shaping people's dreams, helping those trapped in night terrors make their way back to waking. Wonkers, an autonomous robot toy manufactured by Wadi Kaur. Wonkers helped Zoe get through a previous adventure. He's been powered off since then. And uh, the Vagabond, mysterious warden of story time, a world of dreams where all stories begin and end. Zoe's encountered the Vagabond on a few occasions, but still knows little about him. He appears to know more than he's willing to tell Zoe, and she, he may have less control over this dreaming realm than she first thought. Um... I'm willing to bet that this stuff will all update over the course of the game. I don't know if we'll be... There's no home to go back to, and for, for better or worse, this is my home now. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. What's there to go back to? Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. But where it ends, I do not know. I have nothing out there, and I have no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. So, um, I'm going to be making all the choices here, I'm afraid. Uh, I would love to involve you guys in the decisions, but... There, I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome, and my actions have no real consequences, so... <laughs> my actions don't have consequences. People will not remember that. There's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? Who needs me? All who live who have lived and who will live. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. No pressure. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. 
and that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close, and even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why me? Because you are the dreamer. You must find your way back to your sleeping body. You must wake up and remember, and then you must save the world. Because that worked so well the first time around. You changed everything. Don't be Zoe, April. That story but had don't a be beginning April, Zoe. and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Good luck. Yeah, there's that, uh, I got faith thing again. Cool, great, fantastic. Well, I guess it's time to get back to life. We spent nine months in bed, and that is a really, really good run for anyone. But eventually you gotta get up. You know? Oh. Oh, you built a little bedroom out of rocks. That's cool, Zoe. Okay, find the key. Um, do I have the key? If I'm ever gonna find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. Take a skateboard to that line, you build up a lot of speed. Uh, Wonkers, are you a key? Wonkers watches over me, night and day. He may be just a toy bot, but there's something comforting about that. Ah, uh, a key, a key. Reza visits a lot, talks to me for hours. It's good. It's good. Like, we're reconnecting. Uh, Zoe, that thing about Reza not being Reza? Um... Would you like to elaborate on that? The latest and greatest in chemical life support. Without magical miracle machine, I'd be stiff and cold and probably all maggoty. Hmm, happy thoughts. I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. To mess. Okay, uh, I guess I just put myself back in my own mind. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. Oh, the, okay. I don't know what you'd call it. The signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. Uh, most people use drugs, I think. Oh, you're already using drugs. That's what got you here. Hmm. Turn up the volume, you say? This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain drugs! a chemical... Drugs! Drugs are the answer! The subconscious signal. 
Don't know if it will work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... Unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. Hey, you never know till you try. This is probably... Don't know if it... Okay, no. Yeah, I wonder what happens if I give my unconscious body an overdose. Let's... Um, hey, walkers, can you... Are you... Faithful old walkers. No, okay. Uh, comatose Zoe. I'm in a coma. I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop. And stop is... No. Bad. Yeah, that would actually be a problem. Let's not do... What about light? That's not doing anything at all. Except maybe giving me hot flashes. Alright. According to my chart, I won't be around for long. There's gotta be a way to manipulate this stuff. Um... My vitals. If I slow down my vitals... So, if I slow these readings down, the system should compensate by adjusting the drug dosage, jolting my system, hopefully waking me up. Possibly... Yeah, me. give my comatose body what? an Fingers overdose of adrenaline. Crossed. Let's see what happens. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. Okay. Uh, read your mind. So, okay. The cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now... Oh, it's too fast. Too jarring. Like... Like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. All right, slow down. Now get in there. Where do you think you're going? You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at, being dead. Hey, I'm not letting her stand off. in my way. Just get the fuck away from me. See, this is why you're stuck. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. Emma, do I have time for this? Do I have time to argue with myself? No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I've made up my mind. Is that who I really am? Who are you? You don't remember who you are. Or who you were before you started playing hero, dreamer, savior of worlds. Everything about you is a lie. I'm the fucking truth. You can't escape that. Well, but... I can probably argue no, my way out of you're this. you're not leaving. And you're not leaving me behind. She's right. I can't leave. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. So it's not perfect. It's not all gone. There's a chance to... We don't have a home to go back to. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's not. I think we gotta find out. We, we can't know what's waiting for us on the other side, but so what? I'm going to find out for certain. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. And... And who is that? Oh, uh, major decision point. I'm ready for a change. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I don't know why I lost faith, but it's time to find my way back. So, do we take the unknown path or the familiar path? Do we be the Zoe that we were, or do we be the Zoe that we is going to be? That is an interesting question. Uh, we can see what other people have chosen. 
80% chose the unknown, 20% chose the familiar. That's interesting. I'm ready for a change. I used to know exactly what I wanted I to do. I think... I don't know why I lost faith, but it's time to find my way back. A major theme of the previous game was finding uh, faith, both in a literal sense, as in, like, the ghost girl faith, but also in the sense of April trying to find a reason to continue. Zoe trying to find what she wanted to do with herself. Uh, I think regressing might not be a good idea, honestly. I think we should try and walk into the unknown and see what happens there. I'm ready for a change. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. Yeah, the unknown is the more well-known. That is a little weird. My name is Zoe Castillo. And I'm alive. Uh, achievement unlocked. The beginning of the end. That sounds good. Three months later. Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you'd like, I could show I'm you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, your apostle. Alvare. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between no. lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvani before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but we have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I, I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand... I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner... How soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest, but still... First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents, signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. Barbarians. I oh, have only one back memory to Keon. of my mother. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part. 
For we will soon be free, together forever in the cold, cold sea. Careful. Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. Where would I go? I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approve the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. He wants me to plead. I shall not. Hmm, quite. You were always a man of few words, Alvani. A rational pragmatist to the end. I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to mm, admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we've dotted every I and crossed every T. Uh, let's just get it over with a as fast as possible. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. Even though I'm just a prisoner now, I was a warrior. Take my head. The sword it is. I shall make a note of it. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. Are you making small talk? In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to... Hmm. Make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've, um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up. To, um, to stop fighting. I have nothing more to say to him. To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. Right, let's, let, let's see if we can make him understand this concept. You would not understand. Oh. Try me, Alvani. You may come to see that we're more alike than you thought. I have no family. No country. So leave me be. And let me prepare for death in peace. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal and worse. Should I stand in the way of their orders? They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Elvani. The sword will be ready for you. Kian, there isn't much time. What? About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going no on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a made-to-order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? A swamp city? Precisely where I made a daring, swashbuckling, last-minute escape, and you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. Uh, do- okay. What? Hey! Hey! Help me! Uh, help him? He looks badly hurt. How are you feeling? Can you walk? No. 
I've... I've lost... too much blood. T <coughs> Take the key from the guard's pocket. Save yourselves. There must be something we can do for him. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> My family. Tell them... Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that... <coughs> My children, tell them they make me proud. I have to promise. I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. Thank you. Please. Okay. <laughs> if I can Please find finish the Stunt the family. It appears to be a gate. They won't be kind. It probably unlocks this first gate. <coughs> Sorry, what was that? Make me suffer. There's nothing more to be done for him. Uh, okay. Teleport into God of War. This feels more like, um... We just leave him like that? I can't murder an innocent man. I won't force you to, Gian. You have the key? Excellent. Now unlock the gate. Yeah, I'm not, uh... They have different keys for every floor. So you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Really? Okay. Yeah, is this God of War then? I, it feels like uh, Dark Souls. Ever upwards. And why can I use X on him? I guess I can't. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. Oh, I can't tell, actually, if uh, Keon's voice actor changed. It sounds a bit like he's changed, but he also what did sounds... You mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last-minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the Resistance certainly isn't, and we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. Long and thin, the light huh? Is growing, moving closer. We need to keep moving up. Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. All right, let's grab this broom. Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Yeah, I mean, I totally believe that his voice might have changed. I just... They're torturing him to death. May the goddess lead his soul to the first mountain. Uh, they are? They're torturing someone to death? I don't know who. Uh, maybe... I don't know, I can't see through this thing. Lockpick, lockpick, um... A broom and a pillow. What am I going to do with a broom and a pillow? Oh, wait. What's in the barrel? The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. What am I going to do? Oh, wait. Did he pick the... No. Hello? Someone's torturing somebody down here, allegedly. Uh, I can't get back to them. I think the game keeps making me push X to look at something, but I can't tell what, because it's always behind another object. There's no way past that. So that really doesn't help, actually. Oh, is, am I supposed to look at that? Oh, it's that poor dude. Okay. A thin piece of metal. What's going on out there? Huh. Wish I knew. The Azadi are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving. But then again, they've stopped pushing north. 
The only appear interested in holding the city. Sire and Vermon are still in charge. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon. Which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. I'm uh, doing my best to... Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. Can't do anything there. I've already gotten the uh, a pillow from in here. There doesn't seem to be anything else. There was a tooltip to combine items. Can I combine the broom and the pillow? So I'd like to welcome you to my uh, Zelda stream. <laughs> uh, what the hell is this? Room pillow. Yeah, wh what does this do? There's something so pure and beautiful about the traditional broom. I... Now I can clean the iron bars. I can scrub the rust off. Yeah, this is wonderful. I ha there are so many possibilities. Broom pillow. What the? There he is, up there. Was that him? The keep is surrounded by soldiers, mostly Azadi troops. It looks like. Good bowmen. I'm lucky I dodged their arrows. Okay, maybe I can go down and I can grab something out of the rubble with this. I can beat the shit out of people with a pillow from the foot of... Guys! <laughs> you have a thought. Do I want a thought? I want a thought. Give me a thought, by all means. way past that. Oh, wait a minute. Can I shove the broom on a pillow up at the window? And that would get... Yeah, we're on the same thought train. We had the same thought. Okay. We got him. I think we got him, right? It's undamaged, and thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Koopa. That... Your nudge was enough to get me on the right track. I can't believe that! Was it right of me to leave him to that fate? I swore to never kill again, but I'm not sure it can ever be that simple. I must at least fulfill the promise the I made to him. Go on. And bring Pick word to his family. Arrow. Good job. Oh. Follow me. All those years on the streets of Sadia paying off. Okay, the we are... won't last forever. Something's going to give. Either the watch kills every last man, or the prisoners tear this place to pieces. So we're gonna get out of here and then we're gonna save and stop. Oh, hey, man. Why, if it isn't our old friend, Mr. Murren. I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. Wait, are you with the rebels? Uh, no. Quite impossible, Balsay. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojo's unclean genitals, Warden, open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Bakim. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. 
So now I guess we have to find something we can use to, uh... May the mojo befall your filthy arsehole, Murren. Let us through right bloody now. <laughs> Let's do it in him. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to find something to clobber him with, One maybe. Moment, we will see you garroted in front of this Or maybe I could just city. use the arrow. And your family, too. Be foul with... I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, these words are too obscene for me. What? Can I just... Locked. And I don't have time to pick each and every cell door. Can I just, you know, uh... Stab him? No? I'm afraid this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. I could attempt to reason with him. See if he responds to that. Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your <clears throat> promise? Doesn't the Warden claim to be a practical man? My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. Well, I can't uh, if threaten him. If he fails him. to respond, he may treasure his off. We're running out of time. All men of his station were running out of time. I can't time. buy him and because I don't have any money. What about... Your choice is simple. Let us through and live. Or suffer the consequences. <clears throat> I believe I have another choice to wait. Help may well arrive soon. I'll stay right where I am, Arvani. Thank you ever so much. In fact, I might present you with a similar choice. Die? Or... Well, oh, die. No matter which way the wind blows, you're finished. May as well accept it with uh, <clears throat> grace and poise. There's nothing you can say to sway my mind, Arvani. You might as well admit defeat. He's refusing to listen. I must be smarter. What did he reveal of himself earlier? Ah, I have to use his... Still trying, are you? Desperately and... I have to use information sleep. about him I got. Uh... If he... All men of his... He may treasure his office. If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. I mean, you're very punchable already, She's man. You don't want to woman, dig. Merely a woman. Very well. You make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Alvani. Praise your gods. I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. You gave me your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Is that not thing anymore? If Keon doesn't have his you word at this point, he has nothing. Soon enough. <laughs> Perhaps so, Alvani, but at least my punishment. At least my punishment will be at the hands of those who respect laws and regulations. And not a... Yeah, yeah. Barbarian like This yourself. is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I'm when the I... enemy. <laughs> you were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know, and others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. Can I, uh, have whatever? No? Okay. I want to steal his fork! But yeah, um, once we get out of here, I will save and stop. This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. Oh, twice locked? 
We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. Okay, can I go back and get the fork now? Oh, it's a napkin. Shut up, be damned. The guards are getting closer. I draw the line They're at licking the plate us. clean. I'm hungry for red meat, but I'm not a dog. All right, uh, gotta find a way. Is there anything? It's mounted securely to the wall. I use this. I'd burn my skin off if I tried to wrench it free. We don't have much time. Cool. Not everyone in here is a wrongly convicted rebel. Some are violent murderers. I won't risk it. Have I considered the benefits of lycanthropy every day of my life? There's no way through here. Every There's day. No way through here. Oh, now I have a broken arrow. There's no way through here. And I, I think I broke it on the thing, so... Uh... Can we use this? That chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's covered in thick oil. Well, wipe it off. Shadow, they're firing at us. Ah, I can't get a... On the positive side, I now have an oily cloth. Great, now I have an oil cloth. Um, now I can set this on fire? It's sticky with oil. The iron bars are making it hard to get a clear shot. But I shouldn't tempt fate. I'm trying not to. I'm gonna die in a minute. I'm gonna die any minute here. Because, uh... Oh, wait. Uh, combine... Oh, shut up. And I think we just died. No? It locked up for a second. Can I use the... Shadow, they're firing at us. Can I burn this off? The yeah, oil is good. Burning off. It did hit up. Oh, clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Still warm, but it's cooling quickly. Yeah, the... I should be able to climb the chain now. You first. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning. Okay, we're getting out. Good. They've readied the sword for you. A warrior's death. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. Block the gate, uh... Use the lever to lower the bar. Quickly now. Good. Now arm yourself. Come over here now! How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A Do ship? I have to fight? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes, and it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. What? No. No! I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave, or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. I have made my peace with the gods. And you say the same. Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. The Resistance seems to want Gion really, really bad. And if I don't do this, he's gonna, like, unbolt the door and charge into the guards or something. His Sorry, man. The truth. 
Oh shit, it's time. Embrace death in a way I never could. All right. Goddess, forgive me. Slow and steady, boy. Blood and pain for the portal. Whatever note comes next, we're done. I will see you again uh, some other time. Either tomorrow, not the weekend, because Grandia. Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal! What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Leave us. Now! What are you saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? How? Portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. They will rue this day for the rest of their short and miserable lives. And that boneheaded warden, he will pay for this with his life. I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. Do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they've holed up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone. But I will find him. Him and his cohorts. Under the sight of the goddess, this I swear. Before the first arrives. It won't reach her ears. You make sure of that. If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... We won't give her the opportunity. Good. Because if she ever does, you uh -huh. and I will be paying with our lives. Ian may have a point. What in the light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander. Go! Take care of this. This could be a rogue faction entirely. Goddess, watch it for us. All right, one more scene, and then we're Monday, July twenty fourth, twenty two twenty. It's our three months anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? What do you think? You have more energy, you appear more content with your life now than you did three months ago. But only you can tell how you are feeling. Hmm? I, I, I can't do that for you. I know. You remember nothing of what happened before the coma. You're not sure you want to remember. I think you do. Do you agree with that, Zoe? Uh... Yes, no, or save and quit, which is what we're going to do. We will come back to Zoe and her psychotherapist later. Uh, for now, 
I'm just really, really happy that we're finally into Dreamfall chapters. This I've been waiting to play this game a long, long, long time. <laughs> uh. <sighs> so, thank you all for attending. Thank you all for staying a little bit over time. Uh. Imagine being a psychiatric therapist for fucking Zoe Castillo. <laughs> I can't imagine being a psychotherapist for anyone, let alone someone with problems syndrome and I gotta save the world syndrome. Those aren't like actual DMV diag. DMV? DSV? No, DSV was Sequest. Uh, those aren't actual, like, Department of Motor Vehicle Mental Diagnostics. I don't... DSM, thank you. <laughs> Next time on Mental Syndrome Z. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you for being here. I'm just going to check and, um, do we want to raid anybody? Uh, I think I'm going to dump you all on this small retro streamer called Seria Song. I don't know much about them, but I think they're pretty cool. Actually, I've never heard of them before in my life. Uh... Totally alien to me. So we're gonna go over there. I'm just gonna dump y'all off. Have a good night, folks. Have a real good night. Fairy amnesia. That's what I got, yeah. <sighs> that was fun. <laughs>